which um, Jesse can probably go into a bit more of the details of, but um, early on we tried to make sure that we weren't attempting anything that's impossible. And there's a few really key parameters here, like um, we've done a whole lot of magic to make sure that uh, when something it happens, it's synchronised really fast, and we're not actually transferring the photo of you from the tablet to the big screen in real time, but we've scripted it in the way that it could transfer um, with a little bit of latency, and then we just show it when it needs to. Or we um, you have to think really carefully about making sure that uh, we've got these real-time uh, procedural animations of Abby the Fairy flying around, and we needed to make sure that the exact same animation was happening in the big screen down to the tablet and vice versa, even to the point of if she's got some sparkles flying off her back. As she goes down into the tablet, we wanted those sparkles, the exact same sparkles, to move down and follow her down. And so um, we first the first thing we did was decide what sort of technology we'd use. Um, we knew we were going to go with all join, and we found that all join was um, very simple for us to uh, plug into the frameworks that we wanted to use. We use Unity. Um, with our Unity 3D is a 3D gaming engine, and that um, is basically an industry standard. It meant we could bring in all of the particle effects, um, high resolution textures, those sort of things. Um, and all join had a nice Unity plugin ready to go, so we were able to plug that straight in. Um, and uh, then we needed to make sure that we could do things like synchronising um, the you know, Abby flying around and. The way we ended up doing that was uh, having uh, the exact same scene running in both devices and the same model running in both devices and just a different camera um, but being uh, the different viewport. So we tried to make 